Yo everybody, what's going on? This is Keegan from K-Man Reviews. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button. And if you have any opinions at all that you would like to share, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. Cystic. The Cystic Mixtape Series Volume 2 Means to an End. Cystic is an American rapper and songwriter, one who I haven't known for too long, but kind of feel like I have. I met him at one of these hip-hop cypher spaces that I visit every now and then hosted by some of my favorite underground rappers, and I heard him spit a verse on there which was really good, but then when I heard him drop the word cystic fibrosis, my mind just kind of had a bit of a shock. For those who don't know, I do also suffer from cystic fibrosis, as does cystic, which is where his name comes from. And for a while now, I've been wanting to review one of his projects, and what better time than with the announcement that he's dropping a four-part mixtape series this year. I already covered part one in a previous review recall, but now that I have time, I figured why not dedicate a full review to part two here, titled Means to an End. I've rambled on enough here, so let's just dive in. What are my thoughts on Means to an End? Let's find out as I review it, track by track. We will start with the singles, with there only really being one with that being Lost It, which is a pretty solid banger. The instrumental has a great amount of intensity, the continuously rising keys with the sputtering hi-hat and bass combined with Cystic's blunt, aggressive, and slightly unhinged delivery. There's a maniacal tone to this song, and at least for me, that style is very captivating. And the lyrics also match that theme, a lot about being mentally unstable, mentioning how he doesn't trust his acquaintances, has heavy thoughts, but also turns it around to where he's not gonna stop until it's all been done. Very nice single choice. Now for the rest of the tracks. The opener and title track means to an end, also being the longest track here by a mile, almost five minutes, which I fully expected to be like an open book of a song, just letting everything out into a verse, and it kinda is. It's the furthest thing from a banger though, at least for the first half of the song, with this sweeping, string-assisted, stage-like aura, with Cystic trudging his way across with a melancholic undertone, almost like he's actually giving a live play performance. Yet again, he has such a commanding, sharp voice, it really grabs the ear and makes you want to listen. Once the first half comes to a close, the beat really kicks in while Cystic amps up the aggression. The strings get swallowed by the murky ambience and ominous bass as he bears everything here, talking about his depressive thoughts, while also exuding a standoffish posture on his place in the game and an optimistic outlook for his future. Amazing open Opening song. I Tried has a style that I like to label as a smooth banger. The instrumental, mostly the melodies are very serene and chill, but the percussion still bumps enough to not just make it a slower song. I absolutely love the quivering flute when paired with the mid-tempo percussion and sandy snare. It's got an amazing vibe to it, meanwhile Cystic's dropping some emotionally fueled bars about reminding everyone that he did in fact try in a lot of different circumstances. In his relationship, in his music, in his everyday life, turning his failures into life lessons. It's got a bit of a motivational through line and I enjoy that. Good song. Divorce parentheses skit is a brief one minute interlude featuring some of the most somber piano I've heard this year, along with the hazy remnants of what sounds like an argument. You can't really make out anything of what's happening in the song, but based on the title and tone of the piano, you can probably put two and two together. Feels a bit weird to have an interlude this early in the record, but I guess it's fine for what it symbolizes. I Gotta Make It featuring Lil Derek and Dope Sean, who I believe is the track producer, which has a similar tonal direction that Lost It does, but just stripped down a little bit. No keys, only a glitchy, kinda chaotic synth melody that adds a bit of a creepy undertone behind the ticking hi-hat and bass. The vocal effects on Cystic also play to that. At the end of some of his bars, a duplicated vocal track shows up, but extremely pitched down and very low. It's like all those YouTube lore videos when people try to portray a devil or an anonymous antagonist they would use that effect. I've heard it too many times to really be affected by it, but I don't think it ruins the track at all. Lil Derek's verse is pretty okay. He doesn't bring the same energy and flair as Cystic, so it's a noticeable drop in the vibe of the song, although both MCs deliver solid bars about striving to make it in the end and really giving everything your all, because you may not have nothing left to fall back on if it fails. Definitely not my favorite, but a solid tune still. Pieces is a very melancholic song in pretty much every element of it. For one, Cystic's vocals are much more blue and distressing than any song so far. In the tape's progression, it just kind of feels like he's lost that fire, which when paired with the previously expressed passion for making it in the world, it's pretty depressing to hear this despondent tone now. The instrumental matches this, the bleak guitar reverberating behind the mellow tempo, hi-hat, and bass while he raps about just trying to keep in all these emotions, and while on the outside you may look 
look okay on the inside, you're shattered to pieces and just not okay. Very nice track here. Might Be My Time, which features this inescapable, murky, foggy dome around the track. It nearly suffocates the mix, barely leaving the bass and hi-hat as recognizable figures. Cystic also returns to that same demented, fiery delivery that we heard on I Gotta Make It. In fact, the song is very similar to that one, but I do like this one more partially because there's not a feature that kills the flow, no offense. This is just shots after shots all the way through, and also a much briefer dose of it. An improvement on all fronts, great track. Deja Vu is one of the most effortless bangers on the mixtape. I love the groove of this beat, the snappy clicks of the snare, the wavy synths, the fucking trumpets on this are so smooth and expertly utilized, while Cystic's delivery is one of the most collected and controlled on the tape, even if he's still rapping about some pretty tough material. Pretty much he's just telling a story that I don't really need to go into detail because it's lengthy and a bit convoluted, I'm glad I did not use that version of the script. Go check it out for yourself if you want to know because I do also think it's a great track. Mama Didn't Raise No Bitch featuring Fusion, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Anyway, this track has one of the more menacing auras on the record. The beat is very blown out, full with its looming bass and hi-hat, plus this higher pitched synth melody just to give it that extra bit of eeriness. Cystic matches the beat well, delivering a pompous charisma, rapping about, well, you can probably guess. One thing I do want to mention though is the hook. It's probably the most aggressive hook on the tape, yet simultaneously one of the most bare. Feels like an all bark, no bite kind of hook. Fusion is definitely my favorite of the two features on the tape. Amazing flow, very fluid rapper too, and honestly feels much more at home over this beat than Cystic. It's another pretty good tune here. Never Look Down really stands out on this tape, almost single-handedly due to that gorgeous jazzy opening motif which lasts for about 20 seconds and has some lavish horns and keys. It suddenly drops away after that 20 seconds into another tape highlight for me, this deep grimy beat that reminds me of something I'd hear on like a Chopped and Screwed album faint twinkles of synths, the quaking rumbling of the bass, it made me curious to hear how Cystic was going to perform, and while I personally would have preferred a more subdued side of him to be on this, he does definitely ease up on the aggression, and it's still a satisfying listen. Final Thoughts, which is pretty much that. It's basically Cystic just vocally riffing and pouring his heart out over some ambient background noise that's mostly there to present this humanistic element to this verse. Speaking of it, it's the centerpiece of this track, and boy does it carry some real emotional charge. Coping with where he is in life, mental distress, making it in the game, rap being about more than money, a lot of similar topics he was rapping about from earlier in the record, but the potency just makes it the most striking track on the tape. It is an amazing closer, I could not think of a better way to end it. And finally, the pseudo closer slash bonus track, Hear Nothing, which actually released on YouTube a couple months before this tape, but it wasn't really a single. Anyway, I don't really get too much out of this one. To simplify, this track basically boils down to braggadocio. That's really all it is, and I'm kind of happy this was labeled as a bonus track. It wouldn't have fit anywhere else on the record and would have just been so out of place. In fact, if this song was left exclusively to YouTube or just released as a one-off single and not tacked onto the tape, I don't think my enjoyment of this mixtape would have suffered because of it. But looking away from the track in the context of the mixtape, this would probably still be my least favorite song here. The lyrics feel like they were written in like half an hour, if that, the punch of the hook is virtually non-existent, and the beat kind of falls flat thanks to the obscene layers of cloudiness. Cystic is the best part of the track with a solid flow, but even he sounds like he didn't give it all with this performance. Hell, his voice completely cracks halfway through, and they didn't even redo it. It is the funniest thing. Maybe it was done in one take, maybe it was also a freestyle, which can explain why it's a bit skeletal and simple, but if anything, this kind of steals Final Thoughts' light from being the de facto closer. Overall, I know I just went on a massive tangent about why I don't like Hear Nothing, but the actual mixtape is pretty good. Tight bars, a captivating MC to really grab your attention with honest lyrical gems, and the beat selections across this range from the wary to the tried and true bangers. Now would I say this is better than the first mixtape Cystic dropped this year? Well the highs are higher, but this one has more lows. If I had to guess right now, I'm probably going to return to the first one more, but this one is damn close and should not be overlooked. I'm feeling an 8 out of 10 on this mixtape. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that review, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!